In this video, we will search for and download a Sentinel-1 image using the Copernicus browser. The Copernicus browser is part of the Copernicus data space ecosystem. The Copernicus data space ecosystem provides free and instant access to satellite imagery from the Copernicus program. You can access Sentinel-1 and other satellite data of the Copernicus program is the Copernicus browser. The first thing we do is to log in. If you do not have an account, you can register for free here. If you already have an account, enter your credentials here and click the Login button. The Copernicus browser initially shows a Sentinel-2 mosaic of Europe. You can change this by clicking this icon. Now you can select different background layers. To search for Sentinel-1 data, click at the Search tab here. If you want to search for Sentinel-1 data, activate this checkbox. The option CSAR is automatically activated. Below you find the different processing levels of Sentinel-1. Below you find the different processing levels of Sentinel-1. Level 0 raw products are compressed and unfocused raw SAR data, which are the basis for all other higher level SAR products. Level 1 SLC or single look complex data are derived from level 0. They are in slant range projection and contain both amplitude and phase information as complex pixel values. SLC products are used for interferometry. Level 1 GRD or ground range detected products are multi-looked and come in ground range geometry. They contain only the amplitude information. Level 1 GRD COG are Sentinel-1 GRD product as cloud-optimized GeoTIFF. They are in COG format for cloud environments, which allow faster access to data at different scales without the need to download entire file. And the Level 2 OCN data are Sentinel-1 data specifically processed for oceanographic applications. We are going for the Level 1 ground range detected products. These are focused SAR data that have been detected, multi-looked and projected to ground range using an Earth ellipsoid model. Further search options can be specified here by clicking on the Filter button. Here, you can choose whether to search for data from Sentinel-1A or B or from both satellites. Below, one can select the orbit direction, either ascending or descending orbits. Here, a relative orbit number can be specified, which is a number between 1 and 175. In this area, the acquisition mode can be chosen. Available options are strip map mode, interferometric wide swath mode, extra wide swath mode, and wave mode. Depending on the recording mode, a subswath can be chosen under beam ID. Under polarization, the search can be limited to specific polarization combinations. The product availability indicates whether a product can be downloaded right away or must first be processed in the user's workspace. For the first option, select Immediate. For the second one, select To Order. The only selection we make here in our example is the selection of the interferometric wide swath mode as the acquisition mode. We can close this filter window by clicking at this arrow here. Now we need to define the search area. To do so, click this icon. Here, several options are available. With the first tool, you can upload a file which defines the search area. You can upload KML files, GPX files, a WKT file, or GeoJSON file. You can upload the file via drag and drop, or you can enter WKT string directly here. Instead of uploading a file to define the search area, we can also draw a rectangular area. We again click at the icon and select the second tool. Now your mouse pointer has changed its shape when placed over the background image. To draw a rectangular region, click the left mouse button to digitize the first vertex of the rectangle. Then just move the mouse to form the rectangular region. If you are satisfied with your selection, click the left mouse button again. Now we have digitized and rectangular which defines our search area. You can also digitize and polygon as your search area. Click here if you want to start digitizing a polygon. Like in the example before, your mouse pointer will look different now when moved over the background. Just click the left mouse button to start digitizing. Additional vertexes can be placed by clicking the left mouse button. To close the polygon, click at the first vertex you have digitized. To save a digitized rectangle or polygon, you can use this icon here. This will copy a GeoJSON string to the clipboard. Use a text editor, paste the string there, and store it to a file in your computer.
To restore the rectangle or polygon, use the File Upload option. Drag the file with the Save GeoJSON string here, and the geometry will be restored. We will use the rectangular search area in our example here. Finally, we need to specify the time period for which we want to search for data. This can be entered here. In our example, we set the start of the period as October 1st, 2023. The end of the period is December 31st, 2023. To start the data search, click on the search button. When data search is finished, you will get a list with the search result at the left-hand side of the screen. And in the map, you will see the footprints of the data sets from the results list. If you move the mouse over the search results list, the corresponding footprint under your mouse pointer is highlighted in the map view. You can zoom to the footprint of a data set by clicking this icon here. To get detailed information about a data set, click this little info icon here. This will open a window with detailed information about the data set. Click these arrows if you want to see the information of the particular section. If you want to download the data set, then click the download button here. You can also start the download from the results list. To start the download, click this download icon here.